Hey guys, what is going on? We've got a little bit of an interesting one for you here today. We are taking a look at the Sten, which I have not featured since basically one of my first videos in Vanguard, but this thing did actually receive a little bit of a buff recently, making it one of the better SMGs going around in Vanguard Season 3. What changed was actually they changed the damage number on this thing. When you are getting torso shots with the Sten now, you are getting 35 damage per bullet, which is a massive boost here, meaning you're actually able to get a three-shot kill with this gun now. You used to be only able to get a four-shot and then a five shot kill depending on where you were hitting targets but as long as you are getting torso shots with the stand now you are getting a three shot kill which is super super satisfying just before we do get into it here though make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on i do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out because i know that about 85 percent of you guys watching these right now are not subscribed and if you could take the time to join our little community here that would mean an awful lot to me so let's take a look at the stand here this thing has been super underrated and basically just pretty bad for the most part and now it's actually really good here so talking about the stand here this thing is actually now capable with its current fire and its damage number of 180 millisecond time to kill value to the chest which is way way outweighing how it used to be i believe it was like plus 250 milliseconds for like a four or five shot kill which now this is actually competitive in the game at the moment 180 milliseconds is basically the benchmark for a decent ttk in this game starting us off with the attachments here we actually go with the f8 stabilizer to start us off this does increase our accuracy as well as our damage range stat which needs a little bit of a boost with this particular weapon in the barrel slot we actually skip over everything here there is a little bit of something to be said for the sa 65 millimeter rapid barrel to increase that fire rate which is a pretty significant boost here to our ttk of about 18 percent however the rest of them don't really increase our damage numbers or anything like that and they make us a little janky in terms of some of these stats so we usually skip over the barrel but there might be something to be said for the rapid barrel here so just keep an eye on this one if you do like a faster fire rate moving on to the optic slot here we do have that slight reflector again for a very nice clear sight picture but again pick and choose whatever optic you do prefer in the stock we do have the gawain custom this does increase our aim walking movement speed quite significantly here as well as providing us with initial accuracy and recoil control taking a look at the ads walking speed it is 8.9 miles per hour which is super super fast for getting us around the map here in the underbarrel, we actually go with the m1930 strife angle grip to increase that accuracy as well you can of course as usual take the m1941 handstop if you do just like the recoil control and the accuracy then in the magazine again this is no damage increasing option no recoil increasing option or anything like that we just want more rounds in the mag here we get 50 round drums here with this particular upgrade and again this does just basically give us more bullets to get that 180 millisecond time to kill here which is super strong then of course the ammo type i'd love to go with lengthened here but because we haven't used the sten much i definitely would recommend just going with something like fmj but again once you do unlock lengthen this does increase your bullet velocity which is super important here in the rear grip we do have the stipple grip here for initial accuracy and recoil meaning we can hit the target as fast and as hard as possible and then in the proficiency we do go with gung-ho here so we reduce that sprint to fire speed massively and then of course in the kit we're just rocking surplus at the moment while we level this thing up still but you can take quick and you can take fully loaded with most smgs here Alrighty, desert siege is where we do find ourselves about halfway through this game so we might end up doing another little bit of a gameplay section in this video i'm not 100 sure exactly what we're gonna run into but i mean the difference between the old sten and the new sten is basically night and day like just being able to get a three shot kill potentially with this thing really really good now like it's just it's just good one of the things that I don't typically still like about this stand is, of course, when you are attack sprinting that the gun takes up most of your screen, but I mean, that happens a fair bit, so it's not something that we can, like, it's not something that we have to deal with all the time. We can just, like, avoid attack sprinting, like, for the most part. We can just, like, sprint around like a normal person. Guy going upstairs, so we're going to try and take advantage of that. Perfect. Jump out the window just because we were pretty sure we were about to get taken out there, so, again, not ideal. Just gonna run back inside. I'm pretty confident there's a guy upstairs. Anybody upstairs? No, teammates sorted it. Teammates sorted it, as you could probably expect. Take out that guy there again. Nice quick little kill on him. One of the interesting things about this weapon though is it typically is only gonna be like hugely usable on sort of close range maps and in situations where people are coming towards you most of the time because the damage range on this thing definitely limited and that's why we did actually take the F8 stabilizer with this particular class setup just because the damage range is pretty limited here. I mean, I believe in the detailed statistic page, I believe it sits at about 400 IM, which is, yeah, that's, that's pretty low. <laughs> like, that is not good in terms of that damage range, but, oh, that's tough. That is tough, man. Go to automaton. Not ideal for us to go out like that. I was, say, I was pretty sure there was a guy there. Again, tax printing with this thing is probably always going to feel bad, but I mean, that's literally just how the gun plays. Is he? Hello. 
I'm just gonna... Okay. I feel like we didn't deserve that. I feel like we didn't deserve to get outplayed like that by a second enemy, especially when we were just getting dunk on that first guy. Bit unfair, but you know, what can you do sometimes? They're actually spawning here. So we're gonna try and get across the map, get nice and close to some enemies here, hopefully. Very quick kill on that guy there. You see the power of this thing once you are getting those three shot kills, man. People just die very quickly. And this is like a whole new gun in this game, which... Oh, that's bad timing. Super rough timing there. But yeah, this is basically a new addition to the game. Like, nobody ever would have said before that this den was like their favorite gun. Obviously, it's like something a little bit different. Like, people can like this thing and they probably did like it a little bit previously. But like, objectively... No one would have been like, yep, this is absolutely the best gun in the game. And now, this could be, like, easily your favourite gun. Like, just because it kills relatively quickly and you don't actually have to have too many complicated attachments for it. Like, it's just... It's pretty decent. I'm going to cross quick... Oh, man, the timing on that again was terrible. Oh, he jumped out the window just as I decided to start sprinting. But again, you see, damage range on this thing, despite being relatively limited, you're still getting quick kills from pretty decent distances here. Another kill on that guy there. I'm pretty pretty big fan of like the relatively large magazine on this thing as well. I feel like it's pretty decent as well on top, just giving us like lots of rounds in the mag. I mean, quick victory there, 17 and 4 in a very quick succession, so we are going to jump into another game here as well. Alrighty, so Berlin obviously isn't the ideal map for something like this. This is a little bit big, like there's some, some bigger lines of sight in this map. But I mean, we should be able to get a decent amount of work done if we just try and stick towards the buildings and stuff like that. Try and play in these areares where sort of close range stuff can happen. Which is a decent amount of stuff in this map that allows you to do that. Like you can play in corners like these, little corridors and stuff, and just sort of wait for people to come to you. But I mean, for the most part, it's going to be kind of tricky in a lot of these areas. I mean, just like weird stuff like that just happening all the time. Just people jumping out of nowhere. Just going to take care here. Gonna take care in an area like this just because it it is dominated by the enemy typically there's a lot of people usually do just sit in this area of the map and just wait for people to walk into them like that like those guys were doing just there before we should have i was gonna say we should be backed up into a corner here so we shouldn't be able to be taken out that easily spawns actually do appear to be flipping which is not too bad for us as we can sort of move again into our little little close range areas of the map there's a guy literally waiting at the top. I was going to say, there's a guy at the top of those stairs there just waiting for us. I guarantee it. There's a dude always waiting in this area here as well. There's like literally somebody who sits in here the entire map. Like the entire game usually. And again, once you are in these areas, people love coming for you, dude. They will sprint up here for you. They get crazy. Take out that guy there. Oh my goodness. They, they do not like it when you're up here, though. They hate it, dude. It is crazy. Now, we're just going to wait. A little... Can't see anything. All right, we should be okay. What do you... <laughs> there was a teammate. <laughs> Bruh. There was a... There was a teammate there. You can never trust your teammates in these games, dude, I swear. Like, they just bait you, dude. Alright, he's... Oh, he's dead, maybe. He's still there! That dude's still there! Like, that... Oh, that's crazy. People don't move in this game, I swear to God, like... I don't understand, like, when you sprint around and have a fun time, this game actually plays really well. Like, it's actually fun. But people just choose to sit in places like this. And, and they just wait. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Nope, can't win that gunfight from here. Alright, we're gonna try and cross the gap here. tough timing tough timing there we wanted to take out the third guy but you know he just actually jumped on us there which is obviously not ideal but i mean we can see in those close range situations where you are landing those chest shots man you're getting a three shot kill very very consistently which makes this weapon still very 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 powerful obviously at those longer distances can struggle a little the timing as well man 
I want to move up the stairs, but I'm like, nah, time to reload. Enemy walks out the door. Classic COD timing. Classic COD timing there. There's just a guy in that corner, I'm pretty sure. He's in the he's in the building. Two? Now oh, we got both of them. How fortunate. There's a lot of boys in this room here right now. Just taking like rocket damage. <laughs> Just taking the uh, the rocket damage there and just sort of brushing it off and not worrying about it too much. Gonna back off. Wait for him to pick around. Oh, that's him there. Oh my goodness. It's just brother. People play this game in such a funny way, <laughs> but not like funny ha ha. Just like really weird. Yeah, just really strange for the most part. Like just just makes you question your own sanity. Like maybe I'm playing the game in the wrong way. This, this, oh my goodness. This flank is going to be enormous. No. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> we got the dogs though and the game's almost over. And we appear to be doing very, very well. Like, we got 33 kills in a very short amount of time here, so. Keep firing. <laughs> okay, bad luck. Bit of bad luck there. We got the local informants there. We basically just won this game for the team. We joined and we just started popping off, bro. 33 kill, 38 kills now. Not a bad little effort for us. Not a bad little game for us. Just gonna wrap this up here. Just gonna kill the guy on the B flag if we can get there. That's him. Another guy there. Another guy coming up. That's him. Another guy just there. I mean. This thing's good, bro. This thing's good. This thing's like way better than it used to be, which is super, super satisfying. So we are going to have our final thoughts on this Sten class up in just a second here. So as you saw there, guys, the recently buffed Sten is actually quite a significant upgrade in the game. Just the fact that it now has 180 millisecond time to kill. You can't really alter that too much apart from the fire rate barrel, which does make it quite hard to hit the target. So really, you do have to be sort of playing at those close distances to be able to get that three shot kill, that 180 millisecond time to kill. But I mean, it's just a really satisfying gun now. It's not complete garbage like it used to be. This is a pretty significant buff here, and this makes it one of the more powerful SMGs going around. Just while we do go here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it, and it really does help me out. Of course, as we mentioned at the start, 85% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed, and if you could take the time to join our little community here, that would mean an awful lot to me. And again, hopefully that does mean I will see you in the next one. Bye!